I'm going to be reading Romans 10, 9 through 10. These verses show you how to have a relationship with your Heavenly Father. A lifetime relationship that follows you into eternity. Romans 10, 9 through 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You have to believe in the Lord Jesus. You have to believe that God has raised you from the dead, and you will be saved. Now after this, I'm not saying your relationship is always going to be easy. You have to read your Bible. You have to pray. Prayer doesn't have to be complicated, though. Prayer is a discussion with God, a talk like you're having with your best friend. Any time during the day, night, you can have this discussion with him. But just remember, it's not always going to be easy because Satan and his minions want nothing more than to get you off your path want to distract you. There's a reason why in Matthew 24, the first thing that Jesus warned about was deception. Because it's all about deception. Smoke and mirrors. God wants you to spend your eternity in heaven with him. Satan wants you to spend an eternity in hell with him. Your relationship with God will guide you in this direction. Never think, though, it's going to be easy all the time because it's not. I have to repent almost on a daily basis for mistakes I make because I'm human. I'm not perfect and no human is. So please, I encourage you to have a relationship with your Heavenly Father. It'll be the best thing you ever did, not only for today, but for eternity.